I use it as a commuter basically. But I, you know, there's times of the weekend I got a six fifty as well. But there's times of the weekend where I'll just. It's fun to go and throw around Mount Tambourine because it's very light and nimble, whereas the 650 is a lot bigger, which I use for touring. Yeah. So if I go out and pull up the mountains of Queensland and give it a good lash. It used to cost me 50 bucks a week to uh, catch public transport. Now it costs me 20 bucks every fortnight to ride the 250, and I get home 45 minutes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on a sec. So you're saving 20, so you're saving like 35 bucks a week and. 40, about 45 minutes a day. Yeah, I used to have to, I used to have to leave for work at six in the morning. Now I've got the luxury of leaving about 7.15. Wow. And I usually leave here at four in the afternoon and I'm on for quarter to five. Whereas I never used to be on till 5.30, quarter to six before. I'm up to 9,000 Ks. Oh, it'll, wow. When I get home tonight, it'll be 9,000 Ks. So tomorrow's a 9K service. So I've certainly been knocking it about, but I'll ease off now because obviously I've ordered the Moto4, so I've got the Moto4 coming. That's awesome. In when uh, probably two months, so I'll ease off on the mileage on this because I'll sell it. But my wife's not going to let me have three motorbikes. <laughs> How, what sort of fuel mileage do you get? I probably get nearly 400 a tank. My only concern is I looked online, but you know, there's a lot of haters out there. <laughs> if you actually look, I kept looking past it and I was like, no, it can't be this bad. Can't be this. Bad. <laughs> you know what? For that price, I'm going to have a go. Yeah. Like it hasn't let me down. And like when my mate came round, he saw it in the garage. He's like, what? what's that there? That's, that's a brat because I thought they were a scam. I was, that's no scam sat in my garage, is it? Take it for a spin round the block. <laughs> I kind of just I throw them to the back of my mind. Yeah. And I'm certainly glad I didn't listen. Oh, that's because true. at the end of the day, for you know, for the price, I got a brand new bike. I know the complete service history because I've done it. <laughs> Whereas, you know, I could have gone and spent five grand on it second hand 2013 Japanese bike. I don't know if it's been thrashed, serviced correctly. It's yeah. a falling off. Yeah. I'm basically getting a bike that I know is, well, I think I had a kilometre on it when I got it. And I'm pretty sure you ain't been doing wheelies around Frankston in a kilometre. 